Hello and welcome to my video tutorial course on signal flow in Logic Pro. My name is Peter Schwartz and I'm a long time Logic user. And in this course, I want to share with you my understanding and most importantly, the application of the technical aspects of Logic's Mixer and various plugins, all with a view towards using that knowledge to serve your creativity. Now you wouldn't need to watch any kind of tutorial on signal flow if the path of audio and logic were limited to something like the sound of this drummer track playing back and simply making its way to your speakers or headphones. But with a little knowledge of signal flow, you can get that audio to take any number of creative side trips. What you're hearing now isn't just a bunch of plugins inserted on the drummer track. To produce this highly processed sound from ordinary acoustic drums, the audio is being routed in very specific ways to various effects. And some of those effects are being routed to other effects. Understanding signal flow will let you achieve all kinds of sonic transformations, as well as accomplish the more mundane, but nevertheless important tasks, such as providing an independent headphone mix for a musician performing in your studio. Ultimately, signal flow is all about understanding how routing signals from point A to point B can result in creative opportunities and creative options. And in this course, I literally point the way using lots of arrows so it's very clear where signals originate from and where they end up. Included in this series of tutorials is a crash course on how mixing boards work, another crash course on how compressors work, how to create subgroups, how to do vocoding, sidechain compression, and much more, including MIDI signal flow through Logic. I really hope you'll find this course to be as enjoyable a pursuit as it was for me in making it. And so, without any further ado, I present to you Signal Flow in Logic Pro. Mm -hmm. 